you may have noticed on the news how many devastating occurrences there have been lately. It's so easy to be grumpy about the mundane everyday occurrences in life, but it's just as easy to be aware of the positive things that life has to offer too. Now, why is it then that so many of us expend so much energy on what's wrong as compared to what's going right in the world? It's one thing to, uh, to recognize the positive, but yet an entirely different thing to be grateful for them. So there are two components of being a happier, more fulfilled person. One is awareness, and the other is gratitude for what you recognize. So here's the awareness. As I'm here at Duke Cancer Center today, there are so many positive things every day to recognize. It's impossible not to find one in your life, too. Just the simple fact that you're listening or reading this, po this post right now it means you're alive. You have functions in your body that's working, and they're working well. You're waking up every day with a chance that there's another opportunity in front of you. Now, little things come and go so fast. The older I get, the faster it seems to go. Have you ever noticed a butterfly quickly float by or a bird land on a branch in front of you or in the window for just a moment, right? These are little things that mean so much. And that bird and that butterfly, as well as bees, they all contribute to a better life for all of us. They're positive elements in our busy world. Well, we're doing our thing, work, career, education, family. You know, they're busy doing their thing as well. It's so easy to look at the flat tire or the traffic jam and not recognize that you're right where you're supposed to be at that moment. There might have been an accident right ahead of you that you would have been a part of if you were exactly on time. All right, so the next one is gratitude. That's the second part. Once you begin to train your brain to be aware of all that you have and how blessed you are, well, when you focus on the things you are grateful for, you'll begin to see more things to be grateful for that appear in your own life. If someone told you to be grateful and more things would be bestowed upon you, you get a whole lot more if you're grateful. Now, wouldn't you at least give it a try for a couple of months? Come on, right? I'll give you a million bucks if you start being nicer. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> All right, so gratitude is a powerful tool, powerful tool of the mind. And the more you're grateful and appreciative, the more you'll have to be grateful for. That's something I want you to think about on Think About It Thursday.